Yes, people, good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Thank you once again for tuning in. Lots to get through today. I'm going to be talking Joe Roden. I'm going to be talking Antonio Conte and his plans. And I'm going to be talking about other centre-backs that we could potentially bring into this football club. If you're just tuning in and watching on Premiere, make sure to smash that like button and let me know down below what you think of parts of the video. If you're watching on playback, make sure to also smash the like video. Both um, both subjects I'm going to talk about, there's a lot to get through. So uh, it might be a bit of a longer video again, but you guys seem to be enjoying it. So like I said, like, subscribe and all that good stuff. The Spurs Corner will be back on Sunday and Stell will be making his return to the show. So that is going to be fiery to say the least. But last night, um, around 9, 10 p.m. or around 8 or 9 p.m., um, Fabrizio Romano come out with a tweet. And as you can see on your screen right now, that there's a full agreement completed between Joe Rodon and Renz uh, and Spurs. And he will join on loan with an option to buy worth £20 million. As this was revealed yesterday, just waiting to sign paperwork. All parties working on the final details. Rodon follows as a new player at Renz. Let me know down below, what do you make of this? Um, Joe Rodon hasn't really worked out on a Spurs shirt for him. Um, been here a couple of years now and yet to make a massive impact in a Spurs shirt. And if we can get £20 million to this guy, I think that is great business for um, from Tottenham. And I give Paratici full praise. He's uh, he's only 24 years of old. Uh, years of old. He's only 24 years of age. Uh, transfer market value him at £7 million. Um, so yeah, £20 million, I think it's an absolute steal. He's only made 24 appearances um, for Tottenham. And when you actually look at the guy's stats overall, like on his professional career, it, I don't even think he's made 200 appearances yet. And he's 24 years of age. And that is including four wows as well. So as you can see there, 150 appearances, only 24 in the Spurs shirt, only managed 1,300 minutes. So for me, getting rid of this guy, no brainer. He needs to go on and reignite his career. He got his move from Swansea to Spurs. It's never really worked out. We've brought in the likes of Leng Leng now. We've got Sanchez. We've got Ben Davies who can play at centre back. We've got Dyer, um, and well, obviously we've got Rolls Royce um, Romero. So yeah, I think it's best for um, for us for him to you know move on and. Try and reignite his career elsewhere. As you can see, that is a done deal. Um, with a loan option to buy it for 20 million euros. Right now, we're going to be talking about the news that everyone is waiting for. And everyone is really hoping that this happens. Now, Antonio Conte uh, had a press conference earlier. Um, obviously, the game tomorrow night is being played in Israel against Roma. And he basically come out and said, I'll read you the comments. But it's it's very positive, right? It's very positive what he said. Um, for me, alongside Harry Kane uh, signing a new contract, this would be as good as it gets. Um, and he's just coming out with positive news. This is a young team, and we can work for many years to endeavor uh, to endeavor together to improve and fight with the best teams in England and Europe. And that was in his press conference with Ali Gold. So is he saying there that this team um, will be good in many, many years to come? Or is he saying that I'm ready to commit to Tottenham for many years to work with this young squad? Um, so far, Paratici and Daniel Levy have brought through six signings to Antonio Conte, the likes of Richarlison, Perisic, Bissouma, Jed Spence, Fraser Forstar and Langley. Um, so what do you guys make of this? Do you think Antonio Conte is going to commit his future to Tottenham? Do you think so? Um, I'd I'd love to see this happen. I really would. I'd love to see to sign some. If we were to bring in an attacking midfielder, maybe a Zaniolo or a Madison or Baqueta, then Harry Kane and Conte both sign new contracts. I would give Paratici an eight or a nine for this window. Just the fact that Conte is committing his long term future at this football club, as well as Harry Kane. Um, we all know how good of a manager Antonio Conte is. League titles, um, 
you know, they speak for themselves with three different teams. Um, he's already won the Premier League. So hopefully he can do that with Tottenham. For, um, and hopefully he can commit his long-term future at this football club. Um, I'm going to get on to um, the centre-back debate in a minute. Now, obviously, Joe Rodon is gone, right? So you look at our current squad and you think, was Lengley brought in to replace Joe Rodon? Are Tottenham going to bring in another centre-back? Because I always thought Joe Rodon would go. I thought, mate, he might stay in England. He might, um, he might play for another Premiership club. But you look at our squad now. All right, I'm going to bring up the centre-backs that we've got. I'm going to bring up our squad on the screen. So you should be able to see it in a minute. And I want to go through a couple of things with you guys. Make sure right now you smash that like button. The little button down there, press that like button. Let's try and hit 100 likes before the premiere of this video ends. I know I drive you guys absolutely insane when I say about this, but it really does help the channel out and it really does help the video out. So please smash that like button and subscribe if you are new. This is our current squad, right? So you look at centre-backs. So we've still got to pay for Romero in full. Sanchez, Dyer, Javit Tanganga looks like he's going to join AC Milan and Rodon's gone now. So we've only got Lengley, Dyer, Sanchez and Romero. Surely, surely now we will, we will go and sign another centre-back. Romero, Sanchez, Dyer and Lengley. And obviously Ben Davies can play there as well. But four out-and-out centre-backs. Romero, Sanchez, Dyer, Lingley. And then obviously you have another centre-back with Ben Davies when he plays there. Do you think we will go and sign another centre-back? Because for me, you know, Bastoni, uh, Garvidal, however you pronounce his name, from Leipzig, Paul Torres, they're all still available. And if Giovanni Lo Celso is going to join Villarreal, it makes perfect sense to bring in Paul Torres. Because then we'd have Romero, Sanchez, Dyer, Lengley, Davis, and Paul Torres. You know, we're in, we've gone from playing once every seven days now to every four to five days, every three to four days, sorry. Champions League, you know, Premier League, FA Cup, League Cup. Most teams are going to have to play, um, most players are going to be playing in the World Cup as well. This is going to take their toll on the players. So for me, you know, a Bastoni still there. You know, I know um, I know Bremers joined Juventus, but there's still other centre-backs out there in Dicker. He's still available. Um, not only that, if, if we can bring in another centre-back and if we can bring in, you know, a Paqueta or a James Madison or a Zaniolo, if we bring in, say, for, it's like, hypothetically, if we bring in, you know, and Dicker and Zaniolo, I'd be very happy with this window. Um but yeah, do you think we're going to bring in another centre-back? Let me know down below. Uh, we are slowly approaching 7,200 subscribers, which is absolutely obscene. You guys are loving these daily videos, so I'm going to keep bringing them to you. Um, like I said, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Um, we're going to talk more about some um, a couple of quotes here. We're going to talk about... Um, so Joe Roden is going to join Renz. Um, and obviously, we've spoken about Antonio Conte. Alistair Gold uh, said late last night that Antonio Conte has been handed a boost um, on Ben Davis, and he potentially could play against Roma. So as you can see on the screen now, Antonio Conte has been handed a boost with Ben Davis returning to the Tottenham squad for Saturday's pre-season friendly against Roma, where we will see the likes of Zaniolo in the flesh. Um, I think our fan base is massively hyping up this game purely because of the Jose Mourinho aspect. Um, but yeah, it's still, it's still a big, big game, um, for us to actually go up against yet again, another, uh, good side. Roma have looked like they're strengthening in all avenues. They look like they're going to go for a title charge. Um, I want to talk to you about this as well, because this is becoming very, very concerning. Oliver Skip is not part of a traveling squad to Israel for the final friendly of the summer. This guy has been injured for months. It's getting concerning now because he's barely, he hasn't played a game preseason, right? He's barely played. He's barely, he hasn't played in, you know, four or five months. Um, 
I've got mixed feelings because if he still is injured for a long time, that means we're going to be with Benzincourt, Bissouma, and Hoiberg. Surely the likes of Harry Winks, Undon Bele, and Lacelso are all going to go. So we're, we're, until he's back fully fit, we've only got three central midfielders, which is very worrying for me. Very, very worrying. We have to bring in another midfielder. Uh, surely. It makes it makes perfect sense to do so. Um, it's worrying times now. Oliver Skip's been injured for a long, long time. Um, so yeah, lot, lot, uh, lots, lots to get through. Um, there was a bit of news um, on was it? I can't let me see if I can find the report. Um, um, Barcelona sporting director um, has met with. Uh, Sergio Regulon's agent to potentially discuss a transfer. Um, another one. What's going to happen with Sergio Regulon? If we, if we could potentially sell Sergio Regulon for 40 million euros, 30 million euros, something around there, Undon Bele, Le Celso, Brian Hill goes out alone and Wink sells. We're, gonna, we're actually going to make a profit this window. There is no excuse now not to go out and sign an attacking midfielder or a top quality centre-back. We've made 30 million on Steven Bergwijn. We've made 10 million on Cameron Carter Vickers. Jack Clark has gone. Joe Roden's gone. Undon Bele and the Celso and Harry Winks have all got question marks above their head. No one really knows if they're going to go or stay. It's looking more and more likely that the likes of Giovanni and Celso and Sergio Regulon are going to go. You've got players out there like Paqueta, James Madison, Zaniolo. One of those three would be an absolute pleasure to welcome into this team. Um, but yeah, do you think Antonio Conte is going to um, commit his long-term future to Tottenham? Just a, a quote from Kula Zewski here. Um, big up Kula as well. When he comes out and he says, uh, let me just share my screen again. He says, uh, Kula Zewski on playing with, uh, with Ronaldo and Kane and Son. It compares a little bit, but I have to, I have to make them score. That's my job. Give the ball to Harry and Son to score and their finishing is out of this world. For me, uh, Human Son is one of the best finishers in the world from a winger. And obviously, Harry Kane, we all know how good he is. He is an unbelievable player. We are going to finish now, guys. We're going to make this a little, a little bit shorter than yesterday's video. Smash a like down below. Subscribe to the channel and all that good stuff. I'll be back tomorrow for another daily update. So put that post notification bell on. The Spurs Corner will be back on Sunday. So I'll see you all then. Thank you once again for tuning in. Let me know what you thought of Joe Rodon's transfer to Rennes. Giovanni Lo Celso and Sergio Reguilon. Let me know what you think of Antonio Conte. Could he commit his full term, uh, long term, uh, long term future to Tottenham? But I am going to finish now.